In this illustration, we intend to analyze a truss in the Abacus software. In this picture, you observe the truss having been simulated in the Abacus software. The purpose of this analysis is to calculate the deflection of point E using the Abacus software and analytical solution, and following that, compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. The truss is made of aluminum. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. And it can be observed here. The problem has been solved in the manner of analytical solution in this book. And we intend to simulate that in the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. As you observe in this picture, a 40 kilonewton force is being applied to point E. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend uh, to create a geometric shape of the whole truss. I will select the modeling space as uh, 3D. From here, select deformable, then via and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 5000 and continue. The size of member BD is equal to 0.6 meters. So I'll enter its size equal to 600 millimeters. The length of member AB is equal to 0.8 meters. So I will enter that equal to 800 millimeters. The length of CE is equal to 1.5 meters. So I'll enter that equal to 1,500 millimeters. Done. I will enter property module. Click on create material. As explained in the book, the truss is made of aluminum. Uh, I'll click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The young modulus of the truss is equal to 73 gigapascal. I will enter the Young Modulus of Aluminum equal to 73,000 megapascal. Enter Poisson Ratio equal to 0 0.33 and OK. I will click on Create Section. As you observe in the picture, the cross section of BD, ED, and CD is equal to 1000 square millimeters. Here I will select beam and then truss continue. I'll enter cross section equal to 1000 square millimeters and continue. After that here, I will select this member, then this one, and this one. Done, and OK. I will click on Create Section again. As you observe in the picture, the cross section of A, B, A, C, C, E, 
and AD members is each equal to 500 square millimeters. Here I will select beam and truss, continue, enter the cross section equal to 500 square millimeters. Okay, I will click on assign section, select these members, done. Here select A500 section and OK. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. I will enter step module, click on create a step here, select static general, continue. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. Time period is equal to one second. Of course, time will have no effect on the results in this problem. So each time period you consider for this problem would be absolutely right. Okay. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. Select initial step. Then displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point. Done. As you observe, there is a pin support at A point. So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR3. And this means that rotation about Z axis would be free. I will click on create boundary condition again. Select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point. Done. As it can be observed in this picture, a rolling support has been used at point B meaning that it can move directed at y axis but moving directed at x axis would not be allowed so i will close all boundary conditions of displacement except u2 and ur3 and it means that moving directed at y axis would be allowed and rotation about z axis would be free as well I will click on create load, select step 1, then concentrated force, and continue. I will select this point, done. As you observe in the picture, a 40 kN force is applied to point E. So I will enter the amount of force equal to a negative 40,000 newton, and OK. In the next step, I will enter Mesh module. Click on Seat Edge. Select the whole of a truss. Done. Here I will put method on by number. The point you should take here regarding the members of truss is that you should consider one element for each member of the truss. So, I will consider one element for each member of the truss and OK. Then, I will click on Mesh Part and Yes. Here, I will click on Assign Element Type. Select the whole of the truss, Done. Put the element family on truss and OK. Here, I will save the model. I will enter Job Module. Click on Create a Job. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on result.
Here, we intend to solve the problem using the analytical solution. This problem has been solved in Mechanics of Materials book using the analytical solution. And here you can observe the process of solving. To solve this problem, uh, first the reaction forces at points A and B should be calculated and you'll only need to write the moment about point A once you'll be able to calculate the reaction force at point B. And once write the moment about point B, also you can calculate the reaction force at point A. Here the reaction force for points A and B have been obtained. In the next steps, uh, you should write the equilibrium of force in x and y directions at each point so that you can calculate the force having been applied to each member of truss. In these pictures, this has been done properly. Actually, all the forces related to the members of the truss have been calculated. In this table, you can observe the force having been applied to each member of the truss. Here, uh, Fi is the force applied to each member of the truss. Li is the length of each member of the truss. Ai is the cross-section of each member of the truss. In the next step, the strain energy of the truss has been calculated based on this formula. And to do so, we'll only need to add up the strain energy of all members of truss together. Here, the strain energy of all the members of truss has been calculated. In the next step, uh, we will be able to calculate displacement of point E using the principle of work energy. And by using this formula, we'll be able to do so easily. Here, U is the strain energy having already been calculated. Y, E is the same vertical displacement of point E. And our purpose here is to obtain the amount of Y, E. Here, E is the Young modulus of aluminum that is equal to 73 gigapascal. Finally, having simplified that, the vertical displacement of point E would be equal to 16.27 millimeters. Now, we intend to obtain the vertical displacement of point E using the Abacus software and following that compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. I will click on create XY data, select ODB field output and continue. Here I will select unique nodal, then U2 or the same vertical displacement. And then select this point, which is actually the same point E. Then I will click on save and OK. As you observe here, the vertical displacement having been obtained uh, from the Abacus software is equal to 16.27 millimeters. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are precisely concordant with those of the analytical solution. And in fact, the deflection of point E is equal to 16.27 millimeters. And these results had been obtained both from the Abacus software and the analytical solution as well, which were both the same and the results of both were identical.
In the next step, we intend to calculate the strain energy of the whole of truss using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. Here, using this formula, we will be able to calculate the strain energy of the whole of truss using the analytical solution. Here, E is the Young modulus and P is the force. To calculate the strain energy, uh, we'll only need to calculate the total result of this statement. Here, we have obtained the strain energy, but we should note that this point that since the unit have been used in the mechanics of materials book is meter and unit having been utilized in the Abacus software is millimeter, we should multiply the amount of strain energy by 1000 to convert that into Newton millimeter. Here you observe the amount of strain energy having been gained by the analytical solution that is equal to 32, 54, 79 Newton millimeters. Now we want to calculate the strain energy using the Abacus software. I will click on create XY data, then select ODV history output and continue. Here I will select strain energy and click on save as. Here, the strain energy having been obtained from the Abacus software can be observed that is equal to 32, uh, 54, 97 Newton millimeters. As you observe, the results of the Abacus software are quite concordant with those of the analytical solution.